Hey guys, I'm Chef Natasha of Bear Restaurant. Today I'm at Sahadi's, a Middle Eastern store that sells gourmet foods that's been here for over 60 years. Full of amazing stuff you might never have tried before. So the five ingredients I want to cook with today are dates, quinoa, olives, local feta, and pumpkin seeds. Let's go shop, guys. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Um, okay, so I would like some dates here. Thank you. That's beautiful, let's do this one, yeah. Fried green peas, my favorite. And I think we're gonna get some cheese. Oh, cheese, uh, that's a cheese. Yeah, okay, okay, thank you. So we're getting some domestic feta, there's Hungarian feta, French feta, Greek feta. They all have a little different level of salinity in them, so which makes them either crumbly or um, more creamy, so you know, you can, some of them you can blend into spreads, others you want to crumble on some salads. So we got some really great prepared foods here. If you just want to build a quick little appetizer for your party. Can I get some um, sardine rolls? Yeah, just two. And just like a little bit of baby octopus. Beautiful. Thank you. You can come over here and just try all these different things, get a little bit of everything, and it's just fun. I'm at my restaurant Bear in Long Island City. So I picked up my five ingredients at Sahadi's. So today I'll be cooking with quinoa, olives, pumpkin seeds, dates, and feta. I also decided to get a couple other things that are just so fun and kind of in the style of how I cook. So I got a little bit of zakuski for you guys. You're gonna also use some baby octopus and some sardine roll-ups. To cook quinoa, you don't really need a whole lot. You know, I have um, some stock boiling here. You can use chicken. I'm using chicken today. So I got my, my quinoa here. I went for the red. You just add it right in. And usually the rule is about one to one. So one cup of quinoa, one cup of water. So while that's working, uh, we're gonna work on our ingredients for what goes into the quinoa. We have three different types of dates. So this is the raw, fresh dates. That's what these things are gonna look like eventually once they're cured. So you cut little wedges like this, and then you just kind of pop it right open. All right, so these are dried figs. And they have like all the great meat in there. And then the dates, so that's these. You could add it to your savory dishes. Again, you know, this could go really nice into a red wine sauce uh, or a barbecue sauce. So now we're gonna work on a couple of side dishes that I like to call zakuski. Uh, and zakuski is a, a Russian word. It could be meant to bite on or, you know, a little snack or an appetizer. I picked out two things. One is a pickled baby octopus. So these are kind of cool. The other thing I have is sardine roll mops, they're called. They could be herring, they could be sardines that you can stuff, for instance, this one is with olives. Then the other one we're gonna do is our uh, pickled baby octopus. Again, this one we're just gonna add a little bit of fresh parsley to it. We're also gonna use some um, extra virgin sunflower oil. It's a completely different flavor than olive oil uh, and something that really sets Russian food apart from Middle Eastern and Mediterranean foods. So we have that ready. So I got three different types of olives. I have French mix, I have a Lebanese oil marinated and a Greek mix. So all these different olives have a different salinity to them, different texture. So we're just gonna get all the flavors kind of mushed in together there. Basically I'm making a little, little tapenade. So the other thing that we picked up at Sahadi's was uh, some really nice local feta. All right, so this one is it's a little more on the um, firm side which is kind of what you want if you're making a tapenade. You don't want it to be too watery. And our quinoa is almost ready here. All right, we're just gonna add in our ingredients. So we have the dates, 
gonna go right in there. And the figs. Okay, I'm gonna add in just a little bit of, these are pre-cooked brown onions. Caramelizing onions is, you know, a, it's a really great skill to have. You can add them to anything. So our other ingredient, our last ingredient is pumpkin seeds. Um, so I'm really happy that I saw these pumpkin seeds are actually a very prominent ingredient in Ukrainian and Russian cooking. So that's gonna give our um, quinoa some cool color and it's gonna give that unique crunch to the dish. So I just made a meal for you guys using quinoa, a variation of dates, some feta, olives, and pumpkin seeds. And we also have our zakuski appetizer here with the uh, marinated olives and sardines, the tapenade, and pickled baby octopus. All right, let's dig in. Cheers. Mm.